NPCs available. Man, that's that's gonna be a thing that's gonna be a while, man. It's gonna be a while. It's uh it's probably not on on, on, on the top of their priority list right now. Um right now as we're seeing, um as Resni said, um they're gonna continue to uh fully integrate quantum itself once that that's once they they're in a comfortable comfortable position with quantum because right now you know in the early stages the first implementation of um quantum was with the refineries well the not well the persistence aspect of it anyways the persistence aspects aspect of it was the refinery right so quantum was in a sense using um if it if i'm accurate it's um what it uses is uh the the persistent service and um, that's how they're able to keep our refinery jobs persistent between servers right so um and then now with this uh 317 patch quantum is quant quantum is utilizing quanta itself to um simulate ai npc ai purchasing at various locations purchasing services such as um refueling rearming and um and those things at various stations so because of that prices are fluctuating um you know the cost of fuel and things like that are fluctuating um, so they they find that they're so like they're incrementally adding features of quantum into the game so um i think i'm really curious to see how 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 much um how much how how developed quantum will, will be in a year from now as like each major patch they're dropping it so they're adding another service they're adding another service of quantum so within a year i think you should be in a good state where they're they're comfortable to doing something like that because um, the NPCs, I think what they want to do is they want them to actually persist, at least for the most part. They want them to persist and to have their own life, right? So when you, you'll, you'll have to, you, you come across them, you can hire them. They'll have their own attributes, you know, what they do good at, what they, what they do well at, and what they don't do well at, you know? So yeah so all those complexities with with the npcs themselves as their own indi individuals will also play uh play into that so it's going to be a hopefully it's going to be a deep it seems like it's going to be a deep um mechanic with the npcs and using them to to run our ships and things like that but as to when i have no idea i can't i couldn't tell you bro Hopefully sooner than later, you know. MCs will cost money. We will have to pay them and feed them. Yes, that is why I'm asking. How are we going to get that kind of cash? Um, it's like in real life, right? You you need to make a lot of money. <laughs> um but i don't think it's going to be too costly i mean it it's going to depend on the npc right it's going to be depend on the skill level of the npc entry level guys are probably going to be dirt cheap but the the really good ones you know like a really good turret gunner it's gonna probably going to be a little bit more expensive and you know they're going to have their own demands in terms of living conditions and stuff like that you know um for for things like uh your your carrot or your 400 i no no not 400 i 600 i you're gonna probably need a chef probably gonna need to hire a chef to to handle the those things right so man i don't know what's going on can't get in so it's going to be i mean it's also going to depend on the, what you're going to need them for too you know, let, let's relaunch you know, it's going to depend on what you're going to need them for, too. So, it's going to be interesting how they're going to implement this. I'm really interested to see their actual plans. I, I don't think they've dropped any details on how they're planning to do it. Uh, it says the game is still running. 